Hi everyone, welcome to your digital music lesson. This is for all my second grade students and today we're going to be working on the packet that I sent home about two weeks ago and we're going to be focusing on playing the recorder. For this demonstration, I will be using my alto recorder. Um, most of you have a soprano recorder but for this one, because this will be bigger than your soprano recorder, it'll be easier for you to see exactly what I'm playing and the position of the fingers that I have on the instrument. So, first of all, make sure that you have your recorder clean and ready to go, that you wipe them or Definitely wash them first. Just to review, we have the mouthpiece and then we have the body which has about six of the keyholes. Four, five, six. And remember at the back or on the bottom of it, there's one key here. Now, putting it together, we'll insert this halo hanger, if you have one, just like that. And then we have the bottom piece that has the last, the, or the seventh key, and we simply put them together. Now again, this one is bigger than your soprano recorders that you have at home, but it will help me show you exactly the keys that you need to be pressing or covering. On your packet, it says for the first week, which we are already on our third week, but the goal is to learn and play the correct tone as you play the C scale with your recorder. Number one, the first note you'll need to practice is A or the note A. Remember, you'll cover the top two keys and then also the thumb key, the only key located behind the recorder and I will demonstrate that right now. To play your first note, as you're watching this, raise your left hand and use your thumb to cover the back key behind the recorder. Once you have that covered, use your index finger to cover the top key closest to your nose. And then using your middle finger, cover the second key right after it. So you're covering two keys on top, plus the key or the thumb key on behind the recorder on the bottom. So match the sound that I will play. This is A. Your turn. Let's do it together. Ready? Go. Now that you can play A on your recorder, keep playing A for four beats or four counts long. For example, A. Exercise number two, here's how you'll play it. Always take a breath between each of the bar lines, the lines that you see here. And you can also play it this way 
where you have one beat for every letter and then you're gonna play it four times for each measure like this A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A You can also play it this way Next note to practice once you have mastered the correct sound for A is to play B. For B, you just cover the thumb key and the top key, then play the same exercise just like on number two. And it goes like this. B. To play B, you simply lift your middle finger and leave the thumb and the top key closest to your nose covered. Now play this sound and see if you can match it. Your turn. Let's do it together. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Notice that as I'm holding the recorder, I have my other hand holding it on the end of it. I'm not just playing with one hand like this. It's better to have both hands on your recorder to keep it steady and so that you can have a firm press on the keys that you need to play. So now let's try number three, playing the exercise using B. Here we go. Another way to Practice number three is this way. B, 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 B. Let's try playing it the other way, where there's four beats, four separate counts. Here we go. Next note to practice once you have mastered the correct sound for A and B is the note G. Playing G, you will cover the top three keys and the thumb key. Make sure that you are covering all three keys and no air is passing through each of those holes to get the right sound. When you're ready, play this exercise. G. So here we go. G. 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 Now here's how to play G. So remember, we already have A. We already learned how to play B. Going back to A, to play G, simply cover the third key and make sure you can feel the keys, that you're covering them really well. And now here's the sound that you need to make for G. 
your turn. Let's do it together. Ready? Go. Now let's do the exercise on number four. Four G's for four counts long for each. Ready? One, two, ready, start. You can also play it this way. G, 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 G. Now we're going to play it separate like this. We're going to play G for four beats and for four times, repeating it four times. Ready? One, two, here we go. After you've mastered all three notes, the first notes that you can play on your recorder, and that is B, A, and G. Now let's learn to play your first song. First song uses all of those three letters. And if you follow each one, it means each letter is played one beat. And if you see a line here, that means you play the same note before it, one extra beat. So you go B, A, G. B, A, G, 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 A, 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 B, A, G, B, A, G. Now that you can play your first three notes on the recorders, G, A, B, or backwards we go, or going down we go B, A, G, I think you're ready to play your first song, and that will be Hot Cross Buns. Looking at your paper, you read the notes and you go B, A, G, B, A, G, 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 A, 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 B, A, G, B, A, G. Let's try that. For Mary Had a Little Lamb, we have the same notes, but it's played this way. B, A, G, A, B, 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 A, 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 B, 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 A, G, A, B, 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 A, A, B, A, G. Notice that the ending it's pretty similar to hot cross buns. After the two A's, we have A, A, B, A, G. The next song on your packet is Mary Had a Little Lamb. It has the same letters or same notes that is used throughout the entire song, just arranged differently. And it goes, B, A, G, A, B, 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 A, 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 B, 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 A, G, A, B, 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 and the ending 
A, A, B, A, G. Notice that the ending after the two A's, it's like hot cross buns. A, A, B, A, G. Now let's try to play it, okay? Here we go. So there you have it, second graders. That's your first digital music lesson with the recorder. I know some of you can really play those songs really well. So practice it. Make sure you're getting the right sound. Now remember, my instrument is longer compared to your soprano. So we still have kind of like the same pitch, but mine is lower than what your sound would be. Also, if you have any questions, you can always have your parents send me an email. By the way, don't forget to practice because on our next digital music lessons, we're gonna work on the other letters and hopefully be able to complete playing all the notes to play the C scale. Have fun, take care. I hope that you're staying safe and healthy. God bless you all.